Hey everyone, I'm James CW and you're watching Up Close TV. Hey James. Hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm very well, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. It's not your first time here in Norway. It's no. your second. It is. I came here very briefly with uh, Sean Mendes last year on tour. Mm -hmm. yeah. And have you been like visiting Oslo, exploring Oslo? I haven't. I haven't really had a chance to. It's been um, two very quick trips, uh, like one day trips, but I did just have a, a munchies burger, which okay. I've heard is like a Norway burger. Mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, which was which was good. It's made me a little tired, but like it <laughs> okay. tasted good. Right? From a scale from uh, zero to ten? I give it like a solid seven, but okay. I don't give tens, so that's basically no. an eight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so seven out of nine, basically. Okay, okay. X is kind of about uh, the struggle of moving past a person and uh, a relationship when, when you still have uh, maybe some feelings left over. And uh, I wrote it out in California with uh, mm -hmm. the same person I wrote When You Love Someone with, actually. and. Uh, and just shot a music video in London recently and a couple of my mates were in it, so it was fun. Nice. Yeah. Um, it, it kind of, it, it, it took a bit of time, you know. Sean um, was the one who really introduced me to um, his record label, which became my record label. He was a real champion and um, we kind of we kind of spent a little bit of time together, but it was, it was on tour that we became, you know, start to become better friends and, and um, Realize they were actually quite similar as people, so um, yeah, I'd say we're mm -hmm. pretty, pretty close. Do you have like a secret handshake or something? <laughs> no, you know what? Yeah, uh, okay. No, I don't actually. Uh, but with my mates at school, we always had one. Okay. Because you know, like we all played rugby, so we I we'd have to do like played a, rugby. Yeah, nice. I played I played rugby a lot when I was younger, and uh, had to give give that up. Anyway. <laughs> nice. What's your favorite moment with uh, moment with Sean? Um, that's oh yeah, this is kind of a, so uh, the last show of the tour we were in Toronto, which is where he's from, and playing the Air Canada Centre, which is like the arena there. Um, it was a big deal for him, and and it was one of the biggest shows on the tour. And we did a duet where um, we kind of I played piano, and and we both sung kind of a bunch of different songs, okay. uh, one after the other, and on top of each other, and and uh, shared the stage, and it was a really cool moment. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a name for your fans? Um, I mean, I we kind of we we, we were pitching it for a little while. Fans yeah, are coming up with some, but I guess Twallowers was the way Twala? we Twallowers, like Twala like followers, but with TW. So that's cool. There you go. That's the that's kind of I guess what it's sitting with right now. <laughs> nice. Least. Yeah, I think that's it's, nice, I think nice. it's cool. Did you know that Oslo is ranked as your the first? No, no, the fourth city who streams the most i did know that yeah, yeah i know. checked i checked yesterday oh, okay i checked I, it yesterday too there we go <laughs> it's but, crazy it's very cool and so congrats with that thank you um uh, my favorite song of mine that's out and released uh it probably is when you love someone just because of mm -hmm. how um how that song kind of came together how unique it was and uh and the story behind it mm -hmm. Have you read about the uh, this Norwegian TV series Scum? Scum? No, I haven't. Scam? Heard. Scum? No, no, it doesn't ring a bell. Okay. Because, What's it about? Uh, it's about like um, how Norwegian teenagers are today, but it, it got like international just because a gay couple come in the series. So now everyone oh, knows really? what Scum oh, is. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think Sean ever has heard about it. I don't Maybe know. he has. But it's crazy. So you should check it out. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'll go and check yeah. it out. And uh, Norwegian artists, do you know any or? I probably know Norwegian artists. I just don't know they're Norwegian. Mm. Astrid? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Astrid's yeah. lovely. Mm -hmm. I met Astrid and she's great. I mm -hmm. like Astrid. Any others? And uh, Kaigo. Yeah, of course. Have of heard course. About Matoma. I have heard name rings a bell, mm -hmm. but um, the first two are more familiar. Okay. There you go. I definitely. He's do like that. a DJ. Just, okay. Yeah. Mm, oh, did he do the Vamps remix? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay, I do. Yeah. yeah I do all night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. And what's what's the next big step in your career? Do you have a goal? Yeah, I mean, this year um, a big goal is just releasing my debut album, and mm -hmm. right now I'm kind of putting that together. I'm recording and and kind of finding the right productions and choosing the right songs as well. So mm -hmm. that is definitely a big a big step for me. And then to start doing headline tours in Europe and in America to start up um, this year too is kind of big goals of mine. I'd appreciate if you guys went and checked out my new song X. It's got a cool music video to go with it. 
-hmm. And uh, I just want to say thank you for having me today. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, check out X and then uh, check out the challenge with the, the Norwegian tongue twister. And then we'll see you soon. See you guys. Bye. We kind of would we, we were pitching it for a little while. Fans yeah, were coming yeah. up with some, but I guess Twallowers was the way Twala? we Twallowers, like Twala like Twala followers, but with Twala TW. Twala so that's cool. There you go. That's the that's kind of I guess what it's sitting with right now. <laughs> nice. Least. Yeah, I think, that's it's, nice, I think nice. it's cool.